What is up everyone? It's Sam from 64 Wheels and today I have a huge video for you. We are going to unbox and review every fantasy casting of that Hot Wheels has made in 2020. So I know a lot of people fantasy castings aren't their things but I'm going to try to convince you why fantasy castings are some of the coolest castings that Hot Wheels makes. So um, in front of us Hot Wheels has made roughly 20 um, new fantasy castings for 2020. Um, there's some have recolors, some do not. The only one I am not including in this video is the Loco Motoring or Loco Motoring, um, the Thomas the Train engine because it's licensed. Even though it is a fantasy casting, it came out as like a licensed train, so that's like a version of that. It's not like a fantasy train. So I left that one out, but I'm gonna do the rest of them. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start from. You know how each card is numbered out of 250. I'm gonna start with the lowest number and then work our way up to, I believe the latest number is 206. So that's the last one we'll get to. So um, I'm really excited to open these up. Fantasy castings I think are some of the most underrated castings in Hot Wheels casting archive that they do every year. Um, they're super cool. They always have some sort of cool, you know, kind of gimmick to them that makes them stand out from a regular car casting. So. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. So we'll start with the Road Bandit. So this is a, uh, I can't remember exactly, it's a bus from Asia, I believe. So the easiest thing to do is read the back of the cards from them. So this is number seven. This is the first color. It came out in yellow. Second color came out in red. So I'm going to turn it over. Um, and then as you can read, grab your crew and jump aboard. Road Bandit is a colorful jeepney bus decide, designed to steal hearts with a supercharged V8 engine that gets everywhere they want to go. Fast. So this is awesome. Um, I really like this take because to me, when I picked this up, I first thought it was a school bus. Just seeing it like quickly, like it kind of looks like an art bus. Um, but this is like a stretched supercharged V8 swapped jeepney bus. Um, I really like this casting and it came out again like I said the second one came out in red um, I like the first one better because I like the wheels on the first one better as well I actually like the red but I think I like this as an overall version of this um, casting so let's bust it open to take a look at it cool and before I get into these in the comments after we watch all these um, and, and open them up let me know which one is your favorite and if you buy fantasy castings and why you don't or do buy fantasy castings because I wanna, I wanna hear people's opinion on it because I've always bought fantasy castings and when I like show some of my buds and post them online, people just don't seem to appreciate them as much as like you know an R32 or a Camaro or something like that. But I'm gonna try to, like I said, I'm gonna try to convince you today by showing off how cool they are. So um, this is a really nice casting. Obviously, it looks like a, a bus. It has clear, like, a really nice, like, clear window. You can see through the whole thing. It's an open-air bus. It has one racing seat, huge monster, um, chrome V8. Oh, my bad on that one. Um, and it says Road Bandit Taxi on the side. I really like this. It has the nice, like, arrow wheels on it. There are two different sizes, the big ones on the back, obviously, smaller ones on the front. So it has that nice hot rod look. It's got a really nice splitter. Um, on the front as well, so it just looks killer. Um, so let's pop it open in red, the second color of it. Boom. Now this looks, I mean, this just looks just as cool. I like the, the purple. I think it gives it a nice touch. Um, it adds some depth, like when you look at it like this, it almost looks like it has windows. Same, same overall paint job, but just different colors of it. You know, it's just a standard recolor with different wheels. So I do like this casting. Um, I would like to see like a hardcore version of it in like black or flat black or satin or something um, to make it look a little more sinister. Oh, there it goes. Um, definitely like these wheels better, but this is a cool casting. Um, this is one of a fantasy casting that's based off of a real car, but it's like Hot Wheels custom version of it. Kind of like local motoring, but not because it's not a license. Like it doesn't have a brand on it or anything. So there's the chassis on both of them. If you want to see that road bandit, road bandit. Um, I like these. These have that the yellow one especially. That nice hot rod stands to it. Just look at that hot rod. That looks cool. That looks like a proper Hot Wheels like 
bus, van, people mover. Just really nice looking car. Boom, that is the first one. Road Bandit, so came in yellow and red. All right, the next one is the Pixel Shaker. And that is, this is like the, almost like Minecraft style um, bone shaker. So you can definitely see on the art, the card art is super cool. This is another one. Um, it's like, I, I don't know if there's like a certain name for it, but they fit the Lego minifigs. I don't know if there's like a certain term they use, like a, a fig vehicle or what, I, that I don't know. Uh, but here's the back. Nothing's going to block this ride from shaking up the 8-bit roads with pure pixelated power. So I always like the little little spiels they give on the back of the card too. It's pretty cool. So uh, again, this has a special feature and it is that it can fit a minifig inside. So I believe some of these, I can't remember which one came out first. I believe the red one came out first here and the recolor was the blue, but uh, honestly, I can't recall. Um, they're both pretty cool. So I'm gonna open them both at the same time so we can take a look at both. Zoop. The cool thing about fantasy castings is most fantasy castings aren't highly sought after. So you could basically like, I was missing a few of the color variations. I went to Kroger like, what, last week? And I found uh, every single one I was looking for. So that's the good thing about fantasy castings is usually if you go out looking for one, you can find one. Um, so this is pretty cool. It's got like the, like he's, like the back of the card set, like the 8-bit graphics. It's got like an 8-bit skull in the front, just like the actual Bone Shaker. It's got that Bone Shaker body style, but it looks like it's pixelated. Like, that is super cool. Like, don't think of it like, oh, it's not a Nissan. Like, this is supposed to look like an 8-bit computer, like, graphic car that you would play with in Minecraft or another video game. And it looks like that. Like the designers did an awesome job making it look like a 3D, like Minecraft style vehicle. How cool is that? And I appreciate these because like younger kids are huge into Minecraft. So it keeps people who may not necessarily like Hot Wheels buying Hot Wheels or, or say, hey, that looks like a Minecraft car. I want that. And that could get them hooked on Hot Wheels. And then you have another fan and it keeps the, the brand going for a generation. So these play a vital role in Hot Wheels lineup, whether you know it or not or like it or not. These, these are important cars. So um, this one is actually has a metal chassis and the body is plastic, but it's still pretty, it's a pretty stout casting. Like it's pretty heavy. Um, <coughs> excuse me. They both are the same paint jobs, they're just recolors, you know, with different colors. They have the same wheels recolored. Um, here's the interior. You can stick like right here is where a Lego guy can grab or on the back. And that's it. I mean, that's pretty cool. These are simple castings, but just that extra bit of turning a bone shaker into like a pixelated car, it's pretty cool. You got to admit. So I like them. Not too bad. They're very unique. They're not for everyone, but they are pretty cool and unique. So as a fantasy casting should, cool and unique. So this one is actually one of my favorite um, colorways of the entire year of any Hot Wheel. This is the Warp Speeder or the Hot Wheels Warp Speeder. Very cool. This paint job, as soon as I saw this card, like the kid in me immediately grabbed it. And I was like, orange and blue, that is cool. It just, the card, because this is one of the best for track, as you can tell, like, you know, we'll take the RV there yet. Like, there's no track on that one where there's a bright orange track. Like, so they modified the card art to show that it's a track card. And I really like that because I think this is such a cool car, a cool design card. Like, honestly, if this had, like, a Lamborghini badge or, like, a Koenzig badge or a Pagani badge or anything like that, like, I think people would pick it up, like, if it was some kind of, um, like, concept car. But... I think Hot Wheels did a really nice job on this one. So I'm going to flip it over. Hot Wheels Warp Speeder. Designed with ultimate performance in mind, the top surface of the single driver track car features a wing, giving it the ability to grip and rip its way to victory. I thought that was a period. I couldn't see it. Grip and rip, y'all. Sweet. I really like this one. So I think this is the one that I had already opened earlier in the year because I thought it was super cool. So yes. 
Look how cool that is. To me, a Hot Wheels should grab your attention. It should look fast, especially the fantasy ones. It should look fast. It looks like you want to go play with this car. Like this thing looks like it's in warp speed. It looks like it's going a million miles an hour. I love the wheels. Like look at that. I love that effect on camera that like turbines. Super cool. Okay, let's open the recolor. This recolor was actually one of the um, harder ones. I had like harder ones to find. I still found it without issue, but I did have to go to two stores to find it. Um, so I don't know if it's just I'm late on the recolor or what, but I really like this car. I, I definitely prefer it in the blue color, but it still looks pretty sick in the red color. Um, same wheels, same interior. It is a single seat race car. Um, as you can see, I really like this part right here, the little track, the loop on them, um, signifying that it's for track. It's kind of like a little nod that it's for the track. The middle of it is see-through, as you can see, you can stick like something through it. So it has a single driver cockpit, really cool view. It almost looks like something I'd be in Gran Turismo. I really just like the colorway on these. And I love watching these spin on camera. Like that's one of my favorites. Like these wheels are awesome. Um, really like this car. The red version is awesome too. The orange windows match the orange wheels. Again, it's, you know, see-through. This part is metal. The, the bottom is plastic. And as you'll see on each, um, they have like almost like a carbon fiber looking bottom. Um, but they have that track symbol on them that signifies like this is a track car. Put this beast on a track and let's do some loops, jumps, and races. So r really cool. This is my contender for one of my favorite uh, fantasy castings of the year. I just think the paint job on this, it just really stands out as like the kid in me just loves this casting. So boom, warp speeder. Okay, the next one was, uh, I think this casting was a hit for being a fantasy casting, the RV there yet. Um, it came out and I think it got leaked online. I was excited to get this one because I thought uh, this is one I've opened, but we'll, we'll get into it here. Really cool card art. This is just a really nice casting. Um, and here it is. The stylist combination of car and camper is designed for adventure. You'll have good times and make great memories wherever the road takes you. So this is really cool. Okay. Boom. Busting them open. The best part. I'm going to have so many loose cars after this. So cool. Look at that. So we're going to kind of dig into this one a little bit more. Blue. Very cool. And it's already in stores with a yellow car body and a Z-Mac uh, body. I saw it. It's for 2021. I have it somewhere, but we'll get those next year. So um, here it is. RV there yet. Really cool. I love the play on words for this casting. Um, and this casting is super unique because A, it tricked me. So when I first saw this casting, the red one came out first. I was like, oh my gosh, it's going to have an articulating uh, camper shell. Like I thought it would be able to move this way and this way, almost like those old, I can't remember what that, I've seen like Volkswagens with them on it and it almost like attaches to the top of the car and swings back and forth. Um, but that is not the case. It is actually one solid piece and I felt a little gypped when I got this because these tires like this second set of wheels were fake and when I saw it online I didn't catch it because I was so focused on the whole car that I didn't catch it especially with like the fake wheel tampo there. So shout out to the Hot Wheels team for making a two wheel casting appear to be a three wheel casting and kind of get away with it like it looks good. It does a pretty good job. So it's got a nice Hot Wheels logo. It says like, I love camping with a few emojis. It might be hard to see. Um, it says Hot Wheels road tripping on it. This is a super rad casting. I really like this casting. To me, this is one of the standout of the year as well. Um, the car has a plastic body. The chassis is plastic, but this whole thing here, um, the actual like camper shell on it is metal. So that's, uh, it's definitely end heavy. Um, like if you drop it, it's definitely going like that. So um, I really like this. A lot of people don't like the plastic bodies on Hot Wheels cars, but I think under the right venue, and this is being one, that it works. So I also like that the you can tell there's a texture difference. Like this is a plastic body, this is metal. So to me, that even helps like stand out even more between the camper shell and the actual car. So I think they did a nice job with this. Did they fool me with the tampoed on wheel? Yes. 
But overall, I think they did, like, this is a spectacular casting. I think it would be really cool to get a premium version of this or even add that actual third wheel. Um, but I like this. The recolor, the blue recolor is great. The red original color is great. I just, I like them both in general. Really like this. Okay. And I, I'm not going to roll all these. I usually roll them because most of these will roll, except this next one. So this is number 53. This is the Rockin' Santa Sled. And I'm not going to lie. I don't, I don't particularly like Christmas stuff. Um, I don't like red and green as a color combination. I'm not really into like Santa or Christmas stuff. Um, just never really have been. Um, so this, when I saw this, I'm like, uh, you gotta see, you gotta sell me on this one, Hot Wheels. So I picked them up obviously to do this video, but the more I was looking at them, the more I started appreciating them. So this is number 53 out of 250, like I said. Um, and it actually has a special feature. So the Santa, when you roll it, the Santa rocks back and forth, hence the name Rock and Santa Sled. So um, here's the car back. Santa has ditched the reindeer for a sled with some horsepower. And as he rocks this ride through the night, it'll be anything but silent. That is so cool. Like, I really give props to the Hot Wheels team or marketing team, whoever comes up with the little tidbits at the end um, on the card. I like those. Some of them make me laugh. So this is not, it's not a bad casting, but it's, it is not one that's like my super favorite of the year. But they did a good job <laughs> for what it is. You know, let's see here. Let me see if I can get a card to roll it on. Okay, so this one has an action. Here's the chassis. So you can see there's nothing like particular about the chassis. But as you roll it, the Santa does go back and forth, probably attach something to the axle that's making it rock back and forth. So it almost looks like a bobsledder. But that's cool. I appreciate that. You know, we always say like, it's a basic car. It doesn't have any like moving parts, but if you want moving parts, uh, like half of the cars here have some si some kind of special feature. So fantasy castings are the way to go if you want moving parts or special features. So that's pretty cool. I know it's not a lot, but if you're like playing Santa this time of year, especially with a little one, like this is cool. This is cool Santa, like hot rod Santa. He's a, he, like, He's down, he's crouched, he looks like he's going 100 miles an hour, he has presents in the back, it's got nice like green holiday graphics. The body, actually, if uh, I don't know what it's based off of, it, like that almost looks like a Jaguar um, to me, F-Type. And the front looks very like, that almost looks like Corvette, like, I don't like prototype car or something. It's really cool, like the body itself is interesting. The chrome sleighs, like obviously they took like a nod from Santa's actual sleigh. So that's like the rails on, a, on an old school sleigh. It has the white wheels to simulate snow. They did a good job with it. I like this casting. Um, it's not my f favorite because it is such an, a fantasy casting. Like it's, it's, you know, I'm not gonna play Santa in my Hot Wheels personally, but I know little kids will or kids that enjoy, you know, Christmas time. So it's a nice touch to have that added as the, as a part of the Hot Wheels lineup. And I'm pretty sure I have the Hot Wheels, um, uh, what is it, not Nativity. Oh uh, man, I totally am blanking on it. Um, it's the calendar that you open up like every day for Christmas, someone got it for me, um, advent calendar. And I'm pretty sure this casting is in there. So here's the recolor, it's the gold. I actually like the recolor better. I think it fits it better in green and gold. Um, I don't know, what do you think? I like the bright red Santa as opposed to like the maroon Santa, but they're, you know, they, they're pretty much the same casting, same paint jobs, just different colors. So, rockin' Santa sled, pretty cool. All right, on to the next one. Next one is number 55 of 250. And this, again, this is in my top, like probably five of the year castings in general the total disposal this thing is so cool it's like a little tuned like hot rotted trash truck very very cool as soon as i saw this on the pegs i was like i want that that's cool the again the colorway in this really grabbed like my kid attention um let's see so we'll read the back this ride is so stinking cool that it's safe to say no one will be holding their nose when this bad boy rolls up 
So again, a play on words, did an excellent job with the explanation of the car. Whoop. I'm really excited about this one. I've waited to open this one for this video. So I wanted to see if this moved and it doesn't move. Okay, so as you can see, it's like a little compact trash truck. The body's really nice. It's plastic, but it has a lot of nice detailing on it. The, the total disposal logo, really clean. It has like the safety stripes, white lined steel wheels. It's got a really cool um, yellow cab, really like awesome front mount intercooler like this bad boy's about ready to go street racing cool stacks on the side it's got little steps and then in the back you can see bags of trash oh, let me see if i can get that bags of trash like minted in to the bottom like into the chassis oh look at that does that two nitrous tanks oh snap or is that exhaust it looks like nitrous I want to call them nitrous tanks, but it's probably, I don't know, it's probably just steps, but don't these look like nitrous tanks? Man, they really do. I don't know if they are nitrous tanks or not, but they, I'm going to call them nitrous tanks because that's just cool. So the, again, the chassis metal and the rest is plastic and it's got like a little separate, um, like almost like trash door that is supposed to come down, but this one doesn't have moving parts. Um, but look how cool that is like straight up hot rod like i love the look of this casting absolutely love it they did a fantastic job on this and then the recolor hot wheels rapid recycling so this is like a uh, we have rum key around us and that's like a rum key recycling truck through that same color Whoop. cool i don't think there's anything different about yeah so like this one has rapid recycling still got that same logo this one's got a looser body Oh, I don't think this one's loose at all. Yeah, that one's pretty tight. Again, front mount intercooler. I mean, this thing looks ready to race. I mean, even though it's a trash truck, it does. It looks ready to like, burn, burn. I mean, I really like this. Total disposal, love that one. I hope they make a lot of those because I will buy every recolor of that one. So the next one is the speed driver. This is number 77 of 250. This is in the Experimotors Motors line. And as you can see, it has like tools. It has a special feature, so we will turn it around. We'll read it first. Sometimes when you need a little extra torque to bust, to bust, I can't even say bust loose without laughing. Sometimes you need a little extra torque to bust loose and get everything spinning in the right direction. That's why this speedster is definitely the right tool for the right job. So that this is a really interesting casting. I'm gonna open it up and then we're gonna look at the back of the card and I'll show you why. Um, so let's take a look at it real quick. Metal chassis, again, these are killer on the track because they're, they have like a good center of gravity. They just kind of take off. Um, it's a very unique car. As you can see, like there's like an Allen head, um, two screw like Phillips heads, um, and an actual wrench on the back. And then it has like a hex key, like an Allen key in the bottom. So if you look at it, the back of the card shows you what it does. So you're supposed to put right here, put a screw drive, like a drill bit of a screwdriver, like a drill drive. And it, you can use this as like the ratcheting tool for it, which is awesome. This might be a little hard to see, um, but it basically, the center of this can hold a drill bit and can hold little Allen wrenches um, on the side, depending on how big they are. So they built this to actually hold the drill drive and then be able to like, screw stuff in and then as you can see the edge of it is obviously a just a regular wrench so how cool is that a casting that actually does something so i keep a carbonator casting in the kitchen to open bottles with um and this is it's kind of similar to this but it, it you know it's bottle shape it's a, it came out quite a quite a few years ago um but it has a bottle opener on them but this has a little um, wrench and I've seen people say they've opened these up to 10 millimeter to replace their lost 10 which is pretty funny so um, it, as a casting like as a hot wheel it's not a lot to look at it's pretty simple um, it almost looks like a George Barris like 60s style car that does something um, like the Munsters Mobile or something like that I also noticed the side of it has um, hash marks on it because I it's probably an inch or however many millimeters that is, you can see them right there, which is really cool. 
Um, so I'm gonna open up the recolor because it might even be easier to see. So I like I like this casting. Um, it's not my favorite car to look at, but I love that it does something because for the extra 99 cents, that's awesome. Um, or not extra, but for 99 cents, that's awesome that it actually does something. So this one came with like the steel wheels. This one came with the classic five spokes. Uh, I like the steel wheel look, but they both look look fine. So to me, this one sticks out a little more. Like I can see more of the detail because it's silver rather than the black. I kind of lose some of the the screw detail in it, but overall, it's a cool casting. And it does something. So if you're ever in a pinch and need a little wrench, and you can find a speed driver at your local toy store, keep one in your glove box just in case, or your desk at work, and then you can play cars and then not get caught. Like, oh no, I'm fixing my chair. Cool. Probably not my top pick of the year, but I really like the casting. I like what they did with it. So this one, number 82, the Manga Tuner. This one was super popular when it came out. I did a Lamely Daily on it um, as soon as I got it. It went over pretty well. People really like this casting. They've been doing some awesome customs. Like they've also been using this base casting, like the roof. They've been cutting the roof off and putting the roof on other cars that they shortened to make like this same kind of, like, I'll probably say it wrong, bazooka, bazooka style um, out of other cars, which I think is pretty cool. Um, really, this is probably one of the, the fantasy castings of the year because it has that just classic look that bazooka car, um, JDM, the long over, you know, the stretched over hood, the huge lip, the oil cooler outside, the slanted headlights. Um, it's got, you know, right hand drive, boom, boom. That, those huge exhaust tips that go outside the car. Oh, come on, come on, it's trying, it's trying, there it is. Um, just a really awesome take on a car. Like, I really like what they did with it. The It's so easy to grab and play with too, like this. Like, you can see it sticking up anywhere because it is rather tall. It's all, you know, it's just as tall as the drill driver car. Let's see how tall as it is with the bus. So, I mean, honestly, it's as tall as a bus. And it's a car. I really like this casting. Um, let me know, especially if you like this one, let me know why or why not, because I think this is one of the fantasy castings that caught on earlier in the year and has um, developed a little bit of a fan base. So this is the red first version. Again, like I said, I did a Lamely Daily on that one. Um, here is ooh, here is the second colorway of it and this one has a pink chassis with a purple body i uh, i am a fan of pink i like the color i like the color on hot wheels i hope they do more pink on hot wheels um i think it fits this casting well the the body color like the steel like the purple bluish color is not my favorite but i do like the yellow and the pink together I think if they would have made this like a bright blue, I, I couldn't like, I passed this up a few times because the purple, I really like the red. I bought a bunch of the red ones, but the purple isn't my favorite, but I hope to see this in several other colors throughout the coming years since this is a new for 2020. So hopefully we'll see more of these, the manga tuners. Whoop, come on. Oh, there it goes. Super cool. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, the next one is number 99 out of 250 called Forward Force. And this is one, I think the green one came out first, but I can't remember. Um, so I'm just going to open that one first. Again, this is the best for track car. Really nice card art. It just screams like to a kid, grab me, I'm bright and looks like fun. So boom, flip it over. Ooh. From the interior details visible through its clear canopy to the electric motor that powers it, this dynamo energizes the track with performance and style. Nice. Cool, let's pop it open. This one, again, the colors grab me right away on these. Hot Wheels does a really nice job on most of their fancy castings with making bright colors, because I think they are supposed to appeal to kids. Um, and, you know, maybe not so much the collector, but some of these are definitely worth collecting. So this has a similar, where is the hyperspeeder? So this has a similar um, paint scheme to that. As you can see, it has the orange checker flag, like almost like they're all connected to where if you threw them down a track all at the same time, it would just make one giant like string of checker flag, which is awesome. 
Um, again, it ha also has the track loop logo. It has really nice, um, just like line graphics on it. Pretty simple. Hot Wheels logo on the roof. Clear green body with a chrome um, interior and like chrome accents, yellow metal chassis. And again, this one does have the like loop mark on it for a use me on the track. Uh, I really like the orange wheels really make it stand out. I'm not a fan of green in general. Um, it reminds me of Christmas because I, I don't really like like Christmas colored stuff. But this one isn't too bad because they paired it with yellow and orange. Um, it just makes it really stand out. And I bet it probably is, it would do decent on, on the track because of the plastic body metal chassis. So, cool. Not too bad. Not a bad take on it. It just looks like a, almost like a two-door sports car fantasy. Um, the red version of it, I like a lot better. Um, I think red lends itself better uh, to some of the color combinations like I think the red and orange actually look better. The red and black looks like this looks a lot sleeker where this looks more like a toy to me. This looks like it could be um, some kind of hyper car that I just don't know about. Again, this has the same chrome parts, plastic clear body, except this time's red and a metal chassis. Boom, there's the logo. I like it with these, is, are these 10 spoke, uh, eight spoke, 10 spoke wheels? Um, the Hot Wheels graphics, very cool. I like them on both. The red one is the winner for me on the on the color. I do like the the five spoke like almost like FTE style wheels um, better than the more spokes, but they're both they're both kind of cool. Again, just a really nice general casting of like some sports slash hypercar. Whoop! All right, on to the next one. It is GeoTerra. There it is. Um, new for 2020, obviously has cool card art. Like the thing looks like a monster. It, I, the yellow looks better in the card art, but I think I actually like the blue card better. So let's flip it over. Up. Designed to rip through harsh terrain with the speed and precision of a track car, the performance of this exotic off-road vehicle begins where the paved roads end. Nice. Nice. All right, let's see here. Not too bad. Very interesting. So this has a lot of interesting body detail. Um, spare tire out back, which I think is cool. It's got the um, like five spoke off-road wheels, the newer off-road wheels. It's got cool like, it almost looks like an ant. Um, what does it say? And gold racing on the side, number nine. It almost looks like solar panels or carbon um, on the glass. I really like the glass. It's textured in a way that makes it look higher quality. Um, and then as you can see, it almost has a fin going up the back right there in each of the, I mean, I don't know if those are exhaust works. Did it say this was electric? Uh, no. So those are probably, I would probably say exhaust ports of some sort or intakes or something. Um, but this truck sits pretty high. Plastic body, almost looks like uh, another Corvette or something in the front or Ferrari. Not too bad. The body is actually kind of nice. So metal chassis, there's the bottom. Geoterra. Not a bad casting. I really like it. Like I'm a fan of yellow, um, yellow and blue combination color. I think it looks pretty cool. And, and it like it's really stood out to me too on the shelf. Um, I like that. I really like that glass detailing. Okay, let's open up the uh, yellow version. I like this yellow version too. I like having two different colors because I feel like the just like a real car, some of the colors on a casting bring out different body lines. You can see different shapes and details nicer. Um, like this one, the, the roof graphic, you can see it, but it's a little harder to see, whereas this one, it really sticks out. So I'm glad we got to see a lighter version of it um, as opposed to the dark one. But they both, I mean, they, they're the same casting, just different colors. I like the darker glass. I think that looks more more realistic, but it, the lighter color lets you see more of the details. So, and this is same number, same graphics, just on a yellow or like a goldish body, but it looks pretty good. Nice off-road casting for the future because this could be like, almost like an electric vehicle or a gas vehicle, depending on what these like, you know, vents in the back are for, but not terrible. 
I like it. The red, I like the red striped wheels too on that one. Really nice touch. So, boom, there's that. And then I think this is another one of the 2020 new castings that got a lot of attention, especially at first, the Donut Drifter. This thing is so cool. The card art is awesome. Look at that little dude. Look, I'm driving a donut. <laughs> so, all right, uh, let's see. This vehicle is high in calories, low in drag, and leaves an absolute glaze of rubber on the track. There's definitely no hole in this Speedster's game. That is hilarious. Come on, glazed, low in calories, high in calories, glazed, rubber on the track, no hole, get it, donut hole. So cool. This is such an awesome casting. Look at that, I mean, come on. That's, even if you don't like fantasy castings, that is super cool. And I've seen so many people take pictures of this casting being chased by police cars. And I think that's part of the fun of a fantasy casting is getting to do stuff like that. Um, that you couldn't like necessarily you get unless it's like a donut delivery truck or something You can't make cool pictures like that normally. So I really like this casting. Um, I like the odd colors The again pink. I like pink. I like to see more hot wheels in pink. It's got a metal base Different color wheels five spokes um, The driver is just part of like the same plastic as the wing. It's probably underneath. It's got a really nice like chocolate glazed donut as the centerpiece. And of course, you can't have a donut without sprinkles. Really nice sprinkle graphics, Tampo stamped on it, the Hot Wheels logo up front. This is cool, come on. I mean, even if you don't like fancy castings, that's cool. That's like one you pick up for someone who likes donuts. Like I bought this uh, for my wife's uh, grandpa, or yeah, her grandpa, um, because he likes donuts. So I bought him one of these and I like, you know, bring it into the office because on donut day that's kind of cool i like this i like that casting so here's the recolor i like the recolor less um because i think it looks it doesn't look like a as real of a donut even though it, you can make a donut whatever color you want um oh see this is the second one that the recolor has actually been like loose like this almost doesn't it feels like it almost didn't get like assembled correctly but metal base again so instead of pink, it's like teal color. Like see the, the mm -hmm. um, recolor, it's got the sprinkles again. And that one's probably like a raspberry glazed or something. Uh, but I like chocolate donuts too, so I like this one. But this is an awesome casting. This will probably do great on the track as well with the metal chassis, nice free rolling wheels, nothing to get in the way. And just look, I mean, it looks like an indie car from the side. I love this casting. Very cool. Whoop. Donut Drift. Uh, the next one is an interesting one. This is number 124 of 250, the clip rod and the recolor. So this is an interesting one because it is a money clip. Ooh, special feature. Again, a fancy casting with a special feature. Now you can have a car that's attached to it as you are. What? I read that wrong. Now you can have a car that's as attached to you as you are to it. This Speedster comes with its own built-in Hot Wheels flame clip so you can put it on a backpack, a lanyard, or even a bag of chips in case you need to snack and roll. How cool is that? So not only is it a money clip, you can also use it for a million different other clip things. Again, Experimoners line, really cool card art. Let's bust this open. Sweet. Now Hot Wheels, and I right offhand I can't remember what the name is, um, but I'll have to put the name of it right here in the video Bing. Um, Because they made a money clip car before let's see how hard this clip is Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Um, you can put some tension on this one. So let's see I'm gonna stick a card To show you. Yeah, I mean it's pretty solid it Moves a little bit, but it's it's not too bad. So it can be used as a, I love that it's the Hot Wheels logo too. So it can be used as a money clip or a clip onto your book bag. Um, Cause it'll, I mean, it, it's got some room here. Like here's a pocket screwdriver. So, I mean, it's got some room to clip stuff in. It's got a really big, is that a V8? Yeah, really big V8 underneath of it. You can see the exhaust sticking out. Um, it's got like a, it says clip rod and it almost looks like, like a dollar bill writing. I love it. Love the colors, the gold and blue look awesome together. Uh, metal chassis, really cool, those turbine wheels. 
And this is one I know uh, I, I've, I haven't done this. I'm not a big participant in this, but the, a lot of people do like the Hot Wheel in your pocket or like what Hot Wheel are you carrying with you today? And this one would be an excellent one to do that with because of the clip, because it's actually useful. Um, that and the speed driver. I like that. And I, it's not actually a bad looking car, even considering. Like it just looks like some kind of artistic hot rod. Uh, even in the red color. I actually like the red too. Red recolor. Oop. So let's check the this one, make sure they all work. Ooh, that one's even tighter than the blue one. That works pretty well. I like this because it almost looks like the gold on the front end of this makes it look like a fire engine paint job. I like that. Again, metal chassis, plastic body, turbine wheels. The clip is a Hot Wheel logo. Very cool. This is, um, I would say this is probably one of the better um, like tool cars this year. I think people will get a lot of use out of this one. Um, or can get multiple uses out of it and it's come it's come in two colors So I hope we see this more in the future too because I like it would be actually cool to mount these to a wall and have all the Hot Wheels logos going down. I think that would be really cool um, So I might I don't know that might be a video in the future Clip rod Boom, there's that one and then another one. I think made made waves get it um Earlier in the year was the duck and roll the yellow came out first the classic rubber duck but this time it's on wheels. It actually looks kind of like mischievous. So, all right, let's read the back. When conditions get bad, this odd looking hot rod leaves all the other competitors standing flat footed because it never loses its quaction or er, traction. Oh my gosh, quaction. It's, it never loses its quaction. Hot wheels, you, are, you all are killing me with those. That is hilarious though. Hey, do you have, do you have quack trend? <laughs> I can't even say it now, I'm laughing. Oh my gosh, duck and roll. Look at this thing. This is cool. Again, this is one that kids, both boys and girls will like because kids, I feel like kids like rubber duckies. Like rubber duckies are like a, kind of like a trend right now. They have a lot of different um, rubber ducks and different brands. So it's really cool just like, you know, or eye tampos. It's got like an orange bill sticking out and the tail is actually the exhaust and like the fan. It's pretty cool. And like you can see some of the suspension and stuff. The orange wheels fit this perfectly. Metal body, a blue metal body. Again, this, uh, almost all of these would do well on track, I feel like. Just a real, like look at the profile of that. That looks like a straight up hot rod. Again, like some weird Barris one or one you see like cruising down Woodward during the dream cruise because there's always such like weird stuff there. But I love it. This is a perfect first color for this car. Very cool. Okay. Duck and roll in the recolor. Now this one is interesting. I, I don't, and I don't know if I'm missing something and y'all can tell me if I am, but like the stars in the eyes on this one, what is that from something? Um, I feel like it's a character on something, but I don't know what. Um, but I really like the recolor in green. The purple wheels look great. The blue chassis with the orange. I, I mean, this is just a perfect kids casting. Chassis are the same. Everything's the same. I, I, tell me if you know what the, the eyes are from, if they're from something like an anime or something I'm missing. I don't know. Um, the yellow one definitely looks a little harder core with its like scowl. This is a nice casting. I'm sure, I think we're getting a glow in the dark version or a white version um, for 2021. So be on the lookout for that. But I think this will be a fan favorite for a while. Boom. <coughs> oh, excuse me. The next one is the Linster prototype. Um, these, I bought the red one, but I did pass up the green one because I don't like green. Um, but it's not a bad looking car. It's, it's unique. It reminds me of one of the like mid nineties prototypes, like an Audi or something they, they had, but let's read the back of it and see. Um, this mid engine prototype racer designed with covered rear wheels for better aerodynamics, which help it fly down the straightaways and never leave the ground through the turn. So it's basically, um, I mean, it's an accelerator, an X racer. Um, 
So let's just pop it open and take a look. The card art looks um, clear, like you can see through the body, which is kind of cool. That x-ray. A nice stack of cards over here. Whoop! And bubbles. So this is, I mean, I actually like the paint job on the red one. Um, when it's opened, it doesn't look too bad because it almost does look like a um, some kind of like prototype Le Mans car or something like that. Or even like, um, that looks like a speed race. That almost looks like a Captain Terror or some kind of old GT Le Mans Ferrari. It's not too bad. Um, the clear bodies, I think the... These type of bodies make a chassis, make a casting look cheap, especially with the chrome. Like, and look, this is straight out of the package, and like, look how mangled all the chrome is. Like, it's really scratched up. Um, you can see there too. There's like lines all over it. So I think the chrome parts like this are probably really cheap to install, but to me, they make the car look cheaper. And like, look at that scratch. That's out of the package, brand new. So like, to me, I. I don't mind the styling of it if you put a solid body and like maybe like a black or even keep this body and put black on the back I think that would have really um, really made this casting look different it would have hid some of these details back here um, but I think it would have made it look less cheap so this is a middle of the road one for me I don't mind the casting but I don't like the execution of, of the parts of it so um, and even more so the green one like I said, I'm not a huge green fan. Um, so let's look at this chrome. This chrome looks, it's a little wavy, but this one doesn't have as many scratches as it looks like. Uh, same paint job, just recolor green body with yellow wheels. Not terrible. Here, here they are side by side. This would probably be one of my least favorites for the year just because of I just it just looks cheap to me. Not a bad casting, just looks a little cheap, so... Um, the next one is the, I'm probably going to say it wrong, Eric and Eric Stenrod? Eric? Okay, hang on. Eric, oh, I can't even see it. Eric Stenrod. Um, two recolors, or two colors of it. Really cool truck. I do, I did open one of these earlier than year. Um, so here's the back. Slammed to the ground, wide body, roll cage, and a blown engine. This hot rod truck was meant to haul something, but it ain't cargo. Oh, snap. It's meant to haul ass. Whoop! Way to go, Hot Wheels. Man, that's cool. Okay, let's bust this open. I don't want to wait. Cool. I think I'm totally blanking on the name on this one, but I think there was a Frank of uh, Eric Stin, uh the, the hot rod that looked like this last year, I'm gonna, I don't know what the name is right offhand, um, but I'll put a picture of it in the video right here. Um, that matched this paint job and this style. This thing is super cool. Look at it, it looks like it's winking at you. It's a total like, uh, obviously it's a play on Frankenstein and the guy who made it is obviously named Eric. Um, you should look up who actually made the casting um, because it is awesome. Really cool. It's got steel wheels on it. You can see the exhaust pipe um, coming out the fender. It's got a huge wide body in front, which makes room for that huge engine, too. It's got four, it looks like individual um, injection stacks on it, huge supercharger. It's got vents going across. Um, it's got like a, I don't know what you call it, like a, not a ladder step, but it's like almost like a roll cage rear end. It's got panels and rivets all over it. You can see it's got hot rod style real rear taillights. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything. There is the, you can see the differential. It's hard to see through here, but there are two nitrous bottles in the back. Um, and this is, I, I guess this is an intake or supposed to be an intake of some sort. Uh, maybe for the brakes, I can't really see what it goes to. Uh, but that would be my guess. Interior, the interior has a, um, I think it's a rat on the seat. And I think it's, is it a pizza? I don't know. It's kind of hard to see. But the interior, there it is, is detail. Um, so this is one you'll definitely want to get. I mean, it's a dollar. Buy this sucker and take a look at all the details for yourself because it's definitely worth it. Like, I'll stop if I get, keep dropping or quit dropping them. You can see, I mean, even from the top, look how detailed that is. I mean, this thing has like inch to inch detail. Love this thing. So there's the chassis. Erkston rod. 
Very cool. Shoop. I really like this casting. Metal body, plastic chassis. Okay, let's do the recolor in maroon. Same paint job, it's that same, like, this one's actually the, you know, where the blue one is flat, this one's more satin. Um, so I feel like this has, I mean, this has a little shine to it, but definitely not as much as this one. Um, I feel like this one has a bigger, a better shine to it, but it can also let you see the details a little bit clearer. Um, I really like this casting. Look how cool that is. Straight up race truck. Love this thing. They definitely both look good side by side. So I hope we get some good recolors of this in the coming years as well because it's a, this, I hope this is a casting that sticks around. It'd be cool to get a premium version of this. And I am more for, I want to see more uh, fantasy castings in premium because this would make an awesome premium. Honestly, this would make an awesome premium. These would make an awesome premium too, really. Half these cards would make awesome premiums. So again, this is, this is probably in the running for fantasy casting of the year, honestly. It's, it's a good looking casting. Very nice. Okay, we have three more. The next one is the Veloso Racer. Over 2020, this is a take, uh, another take on like a, a street beast, like an animal car. This is the first color that came out. Let's read the back. Shoop. There's no back down in this beast and it's built to chase down and catch anything in front of it. Ooh, raptor. I don't know raptor noises. Cool card art. Very aggressive. I like giving nightmares as a kid. So this is, this is an interesting one. I feel like this is one most collectors wouldn't buy um, because it is animal based. I feel like like this, what is it? The Scorpedo and all the shark cars and the rooster. Like I feel like these are reserved more for kids that collectors don't buy them as much, but I think this is a cool casting. Um, they put a lot of detail into the sculpt of it. The hands in the front, how the lower part of the jaw is a different part of the dinosaur. Um, as you can see, it's like, there's a chassis, there's the spring for the suspension. Its legs go back and it's almost like a mechanical spring right there. You see the huge exhaust headers coming back and going out the rear end. This is a cool casting. Again, I gotta spin these wheels, yeah. Um, they got that really nice like dinosaur uh, graphics on them. This would be cool to see um, a little more detail. I would like the head to be more detailed. Um, I think it'd be cool with some eyes, like if you put these mean rubber ducky eyes on this, like uh. Not again, this is all plastic metal chassis and it has a, it is a track one, so it's good for track. And I like how the footprint is the dinosaur feet, the raptor feet. So this one's pretty nice, I like it. It's not for everyone. This one is definitely not for everyone, but this is aimed specifically at kids and probably Jurassic Park fans and Jurassic Park fans that are kids or weirdos like me that love fantasy casting. So here's the recolor. I think this recolor is awesome. Um, most of the time I like the original color, but this one, I do like the recolor. And I like the orange chassis, um, the gray, like the bone color, um, like, it, I don't, like second base allows you to see the details a little more, but to me, I think this looks a little cooler, like with the jaw, but this one sticks out a little more. It's easier to see. Um, but just in general, again, this has the same graphics as the other one. Just really nice. Rrr, Raptor casting. Velasa Racer. Is that what it's called, right? Yeah, Velasa Racer. Let me know which one you like better in the comments. The orange base or the green base, the olive base. They both look cool. This would be awesome <laughs> going down a track like chasing the Jurassic Park Jeep from uh, the ID line. Very cool. I might have to do a photo shoot with those going down the track after that thing because that would be cool. So, all right, only two more, one more after this. This is the Grand Cross and this is like a, um, I mean, I can't remember what the other one is with the, the pedal, what is it? And now I can't remember, but it's the one with the, that has the bikes in the back Tour de Force, is that it? I don't know, I'll have to look it up. Um, but it looks very similar to that. This one came out first in the Hot Wheels Racing livery. Not too bad. And then this is the second one. I actually 
like the gray because I think the graphics uh, stand out a little more. Um, not a huge fan of those wheels, but let's pop these open and take a oh, Let's look. Okay. Um, whether you need to go to the mall or the mountains, this slick Hot Wheels crossover will get you there with speed, style, and performance. So not too bad. It's basically like a Hot Wheels take on a performance SUV. Overall, a good looking car. It reminds me of like a stretched um, Chevy Blazer. It almost looks like McLaren in the headlights. Um, it's got a unique, like a very sporty looking body, but nondescript. This is definitely a fantasy casting. Although, again, just like the, um, like the bus, if you were to put a logo on this, or even, or the hyperspeeder, like if you were to put a Lamborghini logo on this, or a Bentley logo, or a Jag logo, I probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Um, that's, that's how well Hot Wheels did in designing this crossover, because it looks like something that would be made. It just doesn't have a ton of detail on it. Um, you can see the seating and pretty basic interior. Not super exciting, but it, Hot Wheels did a nice job designing it. Pretty cool. All right, let's open the tray version. I really like this recolor. Um, again, these are metal bodies, plastic base, track, they both have the track logo on them. Um, they, they're they decent, like they, they weigh a little bit. Um, I like I like them both. I actually think I like the, I like this is one of my favorite liveries in all of Hot Wheels, but the gray actually looks really good on it. I don't hate the gray. It's got dark windows, not too bad. Um, let me know in the comments if you had to buy one of these, would you buy the gray one or the blue one? I don't know. It would be a tough one for me. Grand Cross. Boom. There's that one. And then last but not least is Hot Wheels' newest fantasy police car, the Alpha Pursuit. This is pretty rad. Um, I was excited to see a new police car from Hot Wheels because Hot Wheels has several like um, police cars, pursuit vehicles, and the such. So it's always exciting to see um, them have a new take on a police car. So. The bad guys can run, but there'll be no time to hide because when this futuristic police cruiser goes lights and sirens, it's game over, man. Zoop, game over. Look at that card art. I mean, that's sick. All right, let's bust this one open. This is from the Hot Wheels Rescue line, too. Number 206, the last one. This was actually the, you know, new for 2020. This did not have a recolor. Um, that I'm aware of. I searched stores, I searched eBay, I searched online. Um, I could not find a recolor of this casting anywhere. Um, uh, but I don't mind it. Like if they would have swapped a blue, uh, blue body for like gray, I think that would have been cool. So hopefully that's coming at some point, but I like this casting. It looks very slick, very futuristic. Um, the light bar is built in. It has, you know, it's the same blue as like the hood vents. It's a basic, so it has, oh, actually, no, it does have an interior. You can, it's really hard to see. I don't know. You can see, let's see, hang on, let me see if I can move the polarizer and show you. Yeah, it's really hard to see, but it does have an interior. Um, it's hard to see what it actually has in it because the, the windows are so dark. And this also, I don't know if you can see that, but it actually is gridded. Like there, you can see the grids, um, so it's textured. You can see a little bit closer on that light bar too, how it's two pieces and not just painted. Um, this thing has a really sleek profile. It almost looks like, oh man, that almost looks like a Pinto or an old, like a 70s, early 70s Mustang um, in the back. I don't hate how it looks. Um, it's got a nice like wide body look to it and they accentuated that look by adding the black fender um, paint on it to the front and back. It's got like a little police crest on and the Hot Wheels logo. It says police and nice graphics. It's got a chrome base. Again, chrome on Hot Wheels because of the plastic, good on track, um, is not my favorite because it does chip and it wears easy. So I think it makes it look a little cheaper. Um, but if they would have made a gray or a blue chassis on this, uh, I feel like it would have got lost a little bit. So I understand why they did chrome, but um, overall, I like this casting. This is a cool take on a police car. It doesn't look like any police car 
that I've ever seen because it's like a mix of cars. Um, very slick back, like silhouette -y look. I do like the push bar. It looks pretty mean right there. Arr. Not an, just an interesting take on a police car. Not my favorite police car, um, but probably not the worst police car. I do like the steel wheels too. Very cool. Well, that was all of them. Okay, so I was setting up to take pictures of all of them for the big post and I realized I forgot one. This one was sitting in a pile. I forgot about. This is the 2020 new casting. It's one of the Tokyo, the Olympics that didn't happen this year. It is number 216 of 250. So this technically would be the last one. Uh, last fantasy casting in the series. It is Surf's Up. It is a little guy. Um, surfing is kind of like the skateboard one. Um, let's see here. Um, Get in the lineup and be ready to take a rip on this deck because no matter the conditions, the ride is always smooth and glassy. Which kind of, uh, kind of, I mean, that one's not as good as some of the other ones, but I understand. The card art is pretty cool. Surfing. Okay, let's pop this one open. Boom. Oh, I'm so mad that I missed this. Because it like, I had taken all, all the pictures already and I looked over and it was right there. So, alright, let's check this out. Not too bad. This is actually kind of a cool casting. Um, it's definitely unique. I can't remember what the the skateboard one is called right this second, um, but this one looks more realistic. This actually looks like a like that one's more of like a figure, and this one looks more like a like a real person. Um, the the surfboard is a different piece, so it, that is kind of um, interesting. That this is like a what four piece casting so this is a separate piece the guy's a separate piece the board is a separate piece the water is a separate piece and then it actually has a metal chassis um which also also looks like it has like water on it too so with the blue wheels the whole thing looks like it's actually surfing so this one i'm going to try to roll it on camera to see what it looks like all right ready oh it's a little fast not too bad he does kind of look like he's surfing though. So even if this isn't like one of your things, I really like this casting. Um, so even if this isn't one of your things, like something you usually buy, it's kind of cool because it has the Olympics that like wasn't this year. So it's marked with that. So if you want to um, collect the whole Olympic line, you definitely have to get this one. I think this also is one that did not have a recolor. At least I never saw another one of it. Um, I'm going to have to Google and make sure that I didn't miss a recolor, but I think this is the only color it came out in. Um, but I'll double check on that. I'll put a picture right there if I did miss it. If I didn't, I'll put something funny there. Um, so there it is, the last one. Let me know in the comments which ones are your favorite, which ones do you hate, which ones do you are you like, eh. Um, let me know. I will be interested in hearing your feedback on this one since it was pretty long, but we had a lot of stuff to cover. Um, so I'm going to put my post up and pick my favorites out. So we'll have to, you'll have to read the article and click over to Lamely Group and see which ones I pick as my um, top 10 favorites of the year. Or I might do five because there's only 20, 20-ish. Um, so see which ones are my favorite for the year. Let me know in the comments below which ones were your favorite. If you buy fancy castings, if you don't buy fancy castings, um, let me just let me know your thoughts on fancy castings in general, or if you'd like to see more unboxings of them or more reviews of the fantasy castings, let me know because I like them. I think they're cool. Um, I think there's a lot of unique engineering and time that goes into the graphics and the design that I think people don't appreciate but should appreciate because they, I mean, they're just so cool. The paint jobs on them are cool. They go to a lot of work designing the cast and the tampos on them and the different wheel colors. And these, these are made to last generations. Like the Shark Cruiser that came out in the 80s, they still make that. So your kids watching this right now will be playing with this and they'll, you know, 20 years from now, they'll be like, oh, I had the Velociraptor. I remember that. I remember playing with that. I remember stepping on it and sticking it in my foot. Like, those are the kind of things that you'll remember. Or you'll, you know, 10 years from now, some little kid will be like, I had that pink donut car. I love that car. I played with it all the time. Or especially the rubber ducky. I think we'll hear um, that too. So 
Um, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope that gave you some information on fantasy castings and hopefully swayed you to maybe invest in some of these fantasy castings because they are so cool and have different features than just the standard, um, just like Nissan, Chevy castings or whatever. So again, this is Sam from 64 Wheels. Be watching for Instagram for this post because I'll be photographing all these, um, breaking them down a little bit and then picking my favorites. And then I'm also gonna have a favorite post of like, um, favorite castings I got in 2020 that were new to me. So, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'll have some other exciting things coming up too. Like and subscribe as usual and thanks guys.